Hey guys, John here. Uh, it's just uh, an above all uh, update. Um, first of all, Mega Dungeon. I am checking off as complete with 51 levels. Um, it was going to be 50, but I had to add a 51, just a small little 51, just to make it, just to make it, you know, round. And features just needed to go on that floor. <sighs> to that said, uh, Last night, Saturday, uh, 25th, uh, we did a, I ran more Mega Dun more of the Mega Dun with my group, uh, got to the second floor, but I'm not, I'm kind of running this where it's, I have a better idea on my campaign, I'm going to run it where they kind of have to go back to the Mega Dungeon, you know, for different things, and, you know, every time they go back, there's different, th you know, there's, stuff has changed and yeah um yes yeah, so i think that's how i'm gonna work it in um i'm also doing much more i've kind of combined my D, &D game my typical fantasy D, D game with that of my second love which is science fiction i am Kind of combining it with science fiction, doing some, you know, space travel, you know, alien stuff. You know, fall, you know, fall out post-apocalyptic science fiction stuff. Uh, I'll make another video on that. You know, that's just to make, that's just to make my, my campaign different and me. Um, yeah, also, uh, also doing the game. Um, I came up with this puzzle right on the spot. Um, it is this puzzle, I call it the Dwarven Puzzle Chamber. And it was basically built, dwarves built it to protect their treasure from grave robbers. And basically the purpose, and really the purpose of it is there's two cauldrons, one filled with kind of holy, kind of holy water, you know, good water, like holy good, and then it's kind of like got some corrupted, you know, evil magic water and it's kind of and there's piles of skulls around them and like the skulls are painted i use the purple gold and black um and if you put like if you put the purple in the gold and i mean if you put the purple in the holy water it becomes a copper skull it literally becomes like boom copper and then you put the gold in there it becomes a gold skull an actual gold skull and you put the black in there, it becomes a black skull. And the way it is, is if you put the right combination of skulls of the right color type in in the right order into the evil cauldron with the corrupted water, it'll, re it'll turn some cogs and release and open the door. And I use that as platinum gold, meaning not gold painted, but the actual gold metal skull. And then a purple skull. And if they screwed it up, and that would open the door, that would reveal the door. And if they screwed it up, if they screwed up the order, the puzzle just resets. Um, yeah, it was a very good puzzle. It created a lot of tension in my game, because it was like, oh my god, which go do we do? And it was a really fun puzzle to do, halfway because I made it up on the fly. I improved that whole puzzle, and I just have now gone back to rewrite it. Um... But yeah, um, I'll probably make a video later on um, and about some of how I'm making my game kind of a little bit more science fiction-y. But uh, yeah, uh, anyway, as always, I'm John. Happy gaming, and I uh, hope you enjoy this video.